Hi everybody, welcome to the Baker Air Guns Quick Look. I'm Donnie Reed, and I remember way back, way back in the spring of 2019, I was just a little lad. The snow was melting, the birds were chirping, and the JSB Hades 22 caliber pellets had finally arrived. Good folks at JSB slash Predator International had delivered one of the most accurate and terminally effective hunting pellets to date. Yet along with the chirping birds, there were also cries of, when can we get these in 25 caliber? Well, my friends, the time has come. They are here. Today we're talking about the JSB Hades 25 caliber pellets. The new JSB Hades 25 cal pellets share the same radiation symbol warning type cavity in the head as their smaller 22 caliber brethren. They're advertised as a 26.54 grain pellet, which is just a little bit heavier than our good old JSB Kings, the 25.39 grain pellets. They're a little bit longer than the Kings, but they fit in every magazine I've tried them in. Uh, Daystate, FX, Hot Son, uh, Benjamin, a few others. Uh, they, they fit every mag I've tried them in. Now these new pellets, if you flip them over and look in the skirt, they have a very deep skirt. And what this basically does to the distribution of mass in the pellet is make it a front heavy pellet. Um, the center of mass is, I believe, forward of center of the projectile. And that is absolutely fantastic for a drag stabilized projectile, uh, a rocket, an arrow, uh, a pellet. Uh, if you have a nose heavy projectile, it tends to remain more stable. So I believe that's a good thing for the JSB. Hades. And these are available in both a 300 count and a 150 count tin. Now let's get the boring stuff out of the way. I took a random sample of 50 pellets from my sample tin and I measured them for both head size and weight. Typically I use a pellet gauge to measure head size, however I could not in this case. The smallest sized aperture on my pellet gauge is 6.33 millimeter and out of my 50 count sample every single one of them was smaller than 6.33 millimeters according to my pellet gauge. So I roughly measured these using digital calipers and that's the most precision you get from calipers uh, when measuring uh, head size is roughly. You're not going to get an exact measure. Uh, but these all seem to be roughly 6.32 millimeters and it seemed as though all 50 were very consistent in that measurement. Now that's a small head size, and initially that concerned me. Uh, I didn't know if I would get a complete engagement of the rifling via uh, the head of the pellet, uh, but my concerns were mitigated later uh, due to the accuracy testing, and we'll get to that in just a few moments. Now I've also measured the weight of my 50 count sample, and this was a very good category for the Hades, uh, 25 caliber. 41 out of the 50 pellets that I measured were between 26.50 grain and 26.72 grain. Uh, my new scale measures to two one hundredths of a grain. Uh, so this is plus or minus two one hundredths of a grain accuracy. That is really consistent and a uh, very impressive showing for the JSB Hades. So what do all of these measurements mean to the bread and butter, to the accuracy of the Hades? Well, the proof's in the pudding. I just said butter and pudding. I must be hungry. I use a Daystate Red Wolf HP 25 caliber for this testing. 
Now this is a bit of a special gun. Uh, it had a prototype of the ART, the Accuracy Research Team barrel, that ended up in the Safari 25. Uh, this gun has that barrel, however it does not have the uh, updated electronics of the Safari. So it's a standard Red Wolf HP 25, just with the ART barrel. Uh, and it's one of the most accurate guns in this shop, bar none. Now, the wind conditions for the testing were terrible, so I've limited myself to three shot groups at 50 yards. Uh, I believe that tells you more about the pellet rifle combination than a larger group would. It would tell you, the larger group would tell you more about the environment uh, that I was shooting in than anything else. But as a three shot group, my largest of the day was 0 0.389 inches center to center. My best group of the day was 0 0.329 inches center to center. That is sub MOA at 50 yards in bad conditions, albeit with a very nice rifle, but um, any accuracy is going to be dependent on your system, your pellet, and your gun. So it's a system that works together. This system, it worked fantastically well, and I would bet that it would do well for you, but of course you're going to have to test that with your own rifle. So now on to the fun stuff, terminal ballistics. Now I am very convinced that our testing medium known as Mr. Leghorn, who is a whole raw, unfrozen, a thawed, roasting chicken covered in fur, I think that's probably the best pellet testing medium you can use. However, we've switched gears a little bit and for this testing we used a clear ballistics 10% gel uh, calibrated to FBI specs and the one we used in particular is called the extra long air gun block and I'm very glad that that's the one we got. Uh, they do sell a smaller one, it's 4x4 four by, four by I believe 9 inches. Uh, the one we got is 4 inches by 4 inches by 18 inches and that was a wise decision, we'll get to that in just a minute. Uh, but we did use that gel to test not only the Hades, but to compare it against the other JSB and Predator offerings. So we shot the, the Hades, we shot the Predator Polymags, we shot the good old Kings and the King Heavies all into this same block of gel. Now you'll have to forgive the cinematography here. We're just learning how to use the slow motion in combination with the clear gel and the lighting and the frame rates and resolution and everything. So it's not perfect, but you'll get the idea here. What I'm gonna show you is two shots in super slow motion. The first is the JSB Hades and these shots, all of the shots that you will eventually show you into the gel block were taken with that Daystate Red Wolf HP at 20 yards, indoors, 70 degree ambient temperature, perfect conditions, equal conditions, all shots taken one after the other. And uh, we'll get to the final results, but first let's watch this video. The Hades uh, we'll get to the specifics of all the pellets, but the Hades penetrated an average of almost eight inches into the gel and expanded to about eight millimeters on average. They flew at about 885 feet per second, making about 44.5 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. And in this slow motion video, this is the first shot you'll see, this is the Hades. And that's some pretty impressive energy transfer. Um, 
The next shot that we're going to see here is the Poly Mag. Same rifle, same condition, same distance, same everything. They, out of a two shot uh, group, averaged five inches of penetration and expanded to nearly nine millimeters. And just in that video clip, you can see there's a significant increase in the energy transfer, uh, the impulse of the Poly Mag compared to the Hades. But now let's get to all of the stats. What you're looking at here is a still image of all of the shots marked by the little flags that uh, good, good, good firearm channel, TN Outdoors 9. I, I, I stole this trick from him to use the bent uh, uh, paper clips for the flags. It's a good trick, but um, that's what we're looking at here. And what I've marked is the end of the wound track, not where the pellet stopped. Uh, if you watch the slow motion, you can see that the pellets bounce rearward after they have made a wound track. They seem to bounce backwards. So I've marked the end of the wound track for all of these shots. And here are the results. The Hades, uh, again, 885 feet per second, 44.5 foot-pounds of muzzle energy, averaged almost eight inches, 7.8 inches of penetration and an eight millimeter expanded diameter. Uh, these pellets did not expand quite as viciously as the 22s. Um, they did expand, they did come in with a shorter penetration depth than the dome pellets. They did transfer energy, um, but they didn't seem to expand as violently as the original 22 calibers. And that might be good or bad for your needs uh, depending on what they are. The poly mags, uh, 895 feet per second, 45.25 foot-pounds of muzzle energy, averaged five inches of penetration, so significantly less than the Hades. And the final expanded diameter was 8.9 millimeter average, nearly nine millimeters, or about a millimeter larger than the Hades from the same gun at the same energy. Now I also, for the sake of comparison, shot the Kings, just the standard King Dome 2539 grain pellet, they averaged 905 feet per second, 46.25 foot-pounds of muzzle energy, and penetrated an average of 12 inches into that gel. That impressed me. 12 inches of penetration. Uh, and then I had to test the King Heavies. 33.95 grain pellets. Uh, they were the Mark II version. 787 foot per second velocity. 46.6 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. The most of the four pellets. Averaged 14.9 inches of penetration. That was crazy. And this is a good illustration of the differences between the JSB Predator offerings and it shows you uh, in what place you might want to use what pellet. Uh, if you want maximum energy transfer and penetration is not a concern, the poly mags. If you want decent expansion but still increased penetration over the poly mag, you want the Hades. Uh, they seem to act akin to a soft point rifle bullet, whereas the poly mag would be like your full blown hollow point rifle ammunition, and the domes act like FMJs. Uh, and that's uh, how I like to think of this. And they all have a place and a use depending on your needs. Um, I was very enlightened by this testing. Uh, if you need full-blown penetration, the heavier dome gives you the most penetration at the same relative energy levels. There's no question about that. And either the Polymag or the Hades should suit your hunting needs beautifully. Uh, in my opinion, the JSB Hades is an outstanding choice for a hunting pellet. It's a good balance between expansion and penetration. Of course, if you're shooting these at increased energies or shorter distances or different mediums, you might get a different result from the pellet. More expansion, less expansion. It depends on the specifics of your rig. Uh, but in my case, with an average gun, uh, at average energies, at an average distance, uh, I believe the Hades is a fantastic choice for a hunting pellet. I will be using them in my own 25 calibers and that's about the best recommendation uh, I can give for any product is that I'll be spending my own money on it. I highly recommend them. I thank you for watching. You guys stay tuned, stay safe,
and happy shooting. Hi, I'm Dennis Baker with Baker Air Guns. Thanks for stopping by. Click the link below.